Hi Libra, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you all a general energy reading. Keep in mind that the reading will be for past, present, future, and it may or may not resonate with you. But if you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, donating to my channel, purchasing any of my artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you so very much for being here. Please be sure to join our family. I would absolutely love to have you. Make sure that you hit that subscription bell to be notified for future videos. And for anybody returning, welcome back family. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all evil negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold. And for anyone out there showing me love, I'm sending much love and light to you. All right, Spirit. So what do we have for Libra? How is Libra currently viewing their person? How is Libra viewing their person currently in love? Wow. So you guys are really into somebody at this time for some of you. Um, this person is definitely um, sharing a lot of sexual energy with you that you love. This is somebody that's smart. Um, you know, they're also, I, I feel like they're very physically attractive as well. So I feel like you're intrigued by somebody right now for some of you. Um, you're very intrigued. I'm seeing some type of sexy messages coming in, some type of pictures. So this person may want to send you pictures. I see come and see me, okay? Um, so I feel like this is somebody that you either, you go to their home, they go to your home, or you guys meet somewhere, but you, you see this person. Um, you definitely see this person. But I'm seeing on to the next. So... That's how you felt about them before, but you're moving forward. What is this on to the next energy? Oh, some of y'all start having sex with somebody new. Um, so why? So somebody may have been moving too slow for you. Um, some of y'all lost your patience with someone. You could be dealing with the earth sign, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, and you met somebody who, you know, you are being intimate with. I mean, you're seeing this person now. You're seeing someone new for some of you. And if this ain't you, this is the person that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like whoever this person was that was holding back or taking a long time to open up or whatever this case may be, like you just, you wanted to keep your distance. You're like, man, this person got some issues that they need to handle and I don't want to be a part of it. So some of you guys, you just, you rather stay in your own peace, dealing with this past energy. And I see somebody new here. Um... And you guys could be taking this slow too, but I feel like there's a sense of direction as to where this person's headed in this particular situation with you. Wow. Okay. So how does the past person feel about the separation um, that they have with Libra? Wow. Don't wait for me, please. So for some of you guys, this is your 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 past person that they may have moved on to someone else. They could have felt like you were emotionally unavailable. You don't you don't share your emotions or something like that is what I'm getting here. Why is this person saying don't wait for me though? Let's clarify. People don't believe in me. <clears throat> so it's like this person has a lack of motivation because they already feel like people judge them before they even get into anything. So, for example, this is like, you know, somebody, for example, that goes to jail a lot and they are finally trying to do something better with their life. 
but then people still try to keep them in that same category or hold the same thing over their head. So I feel like this person is not even self-motivated because they let the energy of outside people influence what they have going on on the inside. Confirmation. Um, wow, confirmation everywhere. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm definitely feeling like um, they're not motivated to change. I got to be real with you. Um, for the newer person though I feel like you believe in them You could have helped them with things You teach them things You talk to them You you encourage them Like they just see so much in you Um, And I feel like some of you guys are You're not going back to your past You're moving forward Tell me about this friend zone in reverse What is this energy? Somebody don't understand you. Um, they could feel like you're too emotionally closed off. You got feelings, but you just handle them a different type of way. And it's like somebody wants to see a more emotional side of you. I feel like this is the newer person. They do, even though they like you, they want to see a more emotional side of you. They like you, they appreciate you, but they want to see a softer side of you is what I'm saying here. Um, hmm. You're keeping your distance from the past because you feel like they're just not honest. They're not an honest person. And, like, emotions are just, especially dealing with these emotions, it's too much. You don't want to deal with it. You understand what you need to understand. This is how you're... See, the fact that you look at things logically, you like, I need to hold back my feelings. I'm cool. Like... And then you meet somebody else. So I, I guess like the fact of how you handle things is so like you're not overthinking things because you already feel like this person is being a certain type of way. And that's what you feel like you need to know. That's all you feel like you need to know. So I'm definitely seeing sex with you um, with this new person. And shit, that's what's happening right now, <laughs> basically. Alright. So tell me, Spirit, um, about this newer connection. Tell me about the newer connection for Libra. Tell me about the newer connection. You got the Five of Swords, and then you have the High Priestess. Hmm. Give me one more to clarify this energy. Oh. Um. So, for some of you, I don't know, you could be a tarot reader, card reader, somebody else. Could be dealing with a Pisces. I also got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But one thing that I'm seeing is that uh, this person, they like the win, but they, it could it could become an ego issue at times, whoever this newer person is, because I feel like you guys, like you may express something to this person and just having a conversation and it turns into an argument. Like, I, I don't know why, but... This I guess this person just feel like they need to be right a lot. This is the one thing that I am picking up from your newer person. Could cause arguments. Hmm. Is this newer person, uh, what are they looking for when it comes to this connection with Libra? What is their main focus when it comes to this connection with Libra? I don't like this. Because you got the Emperor reverse, the Strength reverse, and the Sun reverse. Could be a Leo or an Aries. I do feel like they got manipulative ways when it's beneficial for them. I got to be real with you. Like, 
for example, like if you have a point, something that actually makes sense logically, because you know most of the time you guys operate logically, they'll try to find a way to make it not make sense. And then it'll turn into an argument. Because whatever it is, it may not benefit them. Whatever the logical explanation or the logical point of view of things may be. Uh, also, like I'm saying that this person, like, they do things like they'll get into an argument with you about something. And then it's like they feel guilty about it. And then they'll come back and try to fix things. So this happens very often with this person. Um, someone could be born on August 19th or August 4th. August 7th is here as well. But I feel like um, this person was depressed when they met you. Or they may have been depressed before they met you. About a situation, maybe an Aries or a Leo. This could be a baby daddy or a child's mom or something like that. Um, this is somebody that they used to argue a lot with and so they got comfortable in this energy um, this is just the portion of them that you may not have been exposed to yet just pay attention just pay attention alright what is the sun reverse Yeah, see, this put them in a depressive space because I feel like they got a daughter with this person or they just had a, a new daughter. They may have three kids, but I definitely feel like there's a new, like, this could be a situation where some of the kids aren't theirs and some are, but I feel like... um with that separation, there could have been an issue because they may have lived in the same house before with this baby, you know. And I feel like you just kind of brought some type of balance in this person's life. Um, from all the heartache, all the pain, all the stress that they were disconnecting from. Alright, so what is this two of swords? They need to make a decision about who they're giving attention to. What? Or this is you? Um. What? What? What does this mean, Spirit? Damn, Spirit just clarified. It means what you thought it meant, Aqua Goddess. <laughs> you got the Seven of Cups. This is options. So this person has kids or a child with somebody, and it's like. They got to choose who they show attention to. Um, like you or them. Because I feel like when they visit this child, it's like kind of like a family thing. Is what I'm getting. Hmm. But I feel like a lot of you guys, you see through this minute. With the high priestess, you definitely see a lot. Because you could be in the public eye. You may do the same type of work I do. Like, for some of y'all. And I see judgment here. Your energy. you like, uh-uh, I ain't about to get in my feelings. You know, I'm going to look at it how I need to be looked at. And we're going to call it a day. And that's the energy that I'm getting from you, Libra. Yeah, because emotionally immature. Somebody's too emotionally immature. Um, so I feel like you're focusing on your business right now. Uh, some of you guys are focusing on your business. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. They're saying don't wait for you. Don't wait for them. Or they're not waiting for you. I see sex. I don't know. Yeah, Knight of Wands and an out energy. This is an off and on connection. They don't want you to walk away. Okay, so what is the motives? What are the intentions of this new person? Okay, they want to love with the King of Cups energy. But what are they going to do? Ten of Swords. See, this is what I'm saying. This is self-sabotaging energy. Because I feel the energy where they want to love you. But then they're going to betray you. And they're not going to be honest about things. And then, like I said, I was picking up this energy for when you're intuitively picking up something. And you could just be asking this person a simple question. 
they fly off the handle. They want to argue. There's a, yeah, because there's something that they're hiding. Queen of Wands, third party energy with the moon card. Yeah, I'm telling you, sneaking and going to go see somebody or if they're going to this person's house for quote unquote the kids, it's about more than that. It's about more than that. You got the three of pentacles. They work together, but logically, this is like sex, too. It's like somebody feels like they should be able to smash whenever they want to with the two of cups on the back of here. Yeah. Mm -mm. And I'm just seeing you, you could be ending things or they're ending things, but somebody's trying to make something right with their family because they feel attached in that situation. But they may just have you in their life, like, for sex right now. Because you got the Three of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and you got the Hangman energy. So it's like, with this energy here, and the Wheel of Fortune, it's like somebody just feels like, logically, they should be able to get their way with you, too. Because, why not? You got the three of swords energy. This is crazy. I feel like it's time. Like spirit is telling you guys. It's time to focus on. Like you got to just. You got to let that energy go. You look better by yourself. Dealing with somebody up like this. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And also there's a lot of creative things. That you're going to do. You got some projects and things. It's going to. Like you got places to invest your energy and your time. You got the will of fortune here. This is divine intervention. So things will be exposed. Damn, as soon as I said that, you got the ten of wands here. So if this is not already clear to you, if you haven't got confirmation, things will be exposed either through this reading or other other methods here. All right, um, is what I'm seeing. But you're being guided to focus more on your journey, your creativity, things of that sort. For this with this will of fortune energy and then you also have the justice so good karma is coming your way i feel like you're a very loyal person you're going to manifest unconditional love it's just not with this particular energy it's not it's not with this person because they got the you got the three of cups i'm sorry you got the three of swords the ten of wands the ten of swords you got the devil you got the queen of wands. You know, you got all of this. And so it could definitely, like I said, I feel like you guys are manifesting something new. With the king and the queen of wands, this is going to be a divine counterpart with the four of wands and the ten of cups. And the justice could even potentially be marriage. So if there's a need to end this situation. Even though this person doesn't want you to walk away, it's not about what they want. Because actions speak louder than words. If this person wanted you to be a part of their journey, a part of their future, they would make the appropriate changes that they need instead of trying to, to manipulate a situation. Where it benefits no one but them. Literally. It, it benefits nobody but them. Like, that don't make sense. It don't sound like something that... It sounds like it is, it's not a good deal. Okay? Is what I'm picking up here. All right, so spirit, give me um, give me a spirit animal uh, for my beautiful Libras. Give me a spirit animal for my beautiful Libras. You guys got the humpback whale singer. Wow, so this could be a creative project that you're doing. You may have a voice on you. Sh redirect that energy. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. You are never alone. And I feel like a lot of you guys like your me time anyway. Especially you dealing with somebody who ain't doing you no good. You don't feel like dealing with it. All right. So spirit is guiding you um, to stay on this path of healing, stay on this path of change, evolution, um, so that you're able to manifest. You're going to manifest something. Don't worry about it. You're going to manifest something that's much better for you. 
okay? Um, so those are the messages that I got for you today, Libra. If you enjoyed this reading, if it resonates with your story, show some love and thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you all soon. I'm sending you so much love and light. Peace.